Good, whatever it is, I'm Antelus. Welcome back to Stellaris, our Star Trek campaign. So, we've started researching here. We've got inactive buildings because of all the people that died. We're up five food, though. I think we need energy the most. And we can't do anything about this special project because we need a skill 3 scientist or better and our best scientist is skill 2 which he's not terribly far away and this guy okay we're gonna keep our first fleet here as well and we can't really add on to it. Which is rather unfortunate. Oh, well, we don't want this going slow. Let's get this going fast again. The Zindi thing that's going on. Oh. Huh. We did the wrong thing. We're researching aliens now, apparently. And let's see, our construction ship, build the research stations first, and that's going to eat up most of our excess power. So we'll leave that be for now. Oh, I can't see because I took my glasses off for a second. Ah, uh, torpedoes or ion thrusters, let's do torpedoes, because we have a torpedo s spot on our ships that's... Uh, Oh, sorry. Got something in my eye. We have a torpedo spot that's not being used, so... Okay, most, most likely than other denizens of Earth will migrate to other planets. It does not address whether they, this could be due to psychological dependency on the drug and its sibling plants. Great. Honestly, I think that's okay because we mainly just want them to stay here. Okay, you're level two, thank you. Okay. And you... Survey this... Oh! I am dealing with a different ship than I thought I was. Go there. And when you're done, you go here. Come on. I just need a level three. Okay. Productivity is no longer declining. Communications are breaking down. Uh, I'm honestly not going to worry about it. We'll just see what happens. Okay. Reports of deep space drones in certain systems have been investigated. Appear to be the workers and custodians of an autonomous orbital mining operation. Do they lack anything? Okay, so we'll do that. What does research takes 14 months? Ugh. Okay, 45%, 60%, 45%, unknown, unknown but good. Okay, mineral composition, okay, whatever, just do your thing. And please hurry up and level up. So it's interesting to me, not this one, this one, and we have another race here. 
There's not really much we can do with them though. 80% habitable. If I just leave them for a long time, will they eventually get to space like in 2000 years or nothing? Throw scans, odd metal composition. It's a crash of a dozen mass spaceships, larger than anything we could have imagined. Construction dates back several million years, plus two, two minerals. Okay, that's not bad. Oh. Fringe elements on Mars have banded together to form a religious organization seeking to control all aspects of the flower and its cultivation. Oh, their leader ourselves saw it lies green hierophant of this flower temple claims to speak for all the flora and fauna of Mars and demands exclusive trading rights for the plant. This is, of course, completely unacceptable and impossible as the native flora of Mars is of little strategic or economic value and thus may not be brought off world by law. Unfortunately, they are unlikely to accept this fact gracefully. Another sign that we're probably going to need a decent sized military. Mars is starting to revolt. Awesome. Well, we're not going to make that. Excuse me. So... The, flora, the Flower Temple and its followers now make up a sizable minority of the population on Mars, and reports indicate a disturbing change in the movement. Their futile attempts to smuggle Maran Karan specimen off-world have been growing less enthusiastic by the day, as the Flower Temple seems to be transforming into a doomsday cult. This is likely a correlation with the recent changes in the Pond's chemical makeup to detected by atmospheric sensors. A special project has been prepared to assess the risks associated with this and it is recommended to complete before something goes horribly wrong. Awesome. Okay. So that's this one. It's skill four or higher. I, uh. I want to do it, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Okay, you. Survey system. And he is already on his way. Come on. I need a four star. And I'm not going to get that anytime soon. What does this do? Sensor range plus 33%. Epsilon aliens. Let's get the power plant too. Okay. New ruler. Actually, how about you go back to Earth? Actually, cancel. Stop. Survey system. You go back to Earth. Because honestly, I don't know which gives you more experience. These or special projects. Oh, oh, let's see this. Okay, we're going to pause it so we can take a look. That's interesting looking. And honestly, I don't really recognize it. It's hard to see also on this background. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. Cool. Oh, good. You're starting with our planet that we might want to call us. Or it's moon, I guess. Oh, it is one of the moons of a gas giant.
Come on. Not yet surveyed. Class M1. Ooh, 80% have ability. Let's let's take that. And we're gonna need to take some of these less habitable planets. 45, 45. We'll take the 60 over here. Rank up, skill level three. You're moving to analyze the debris. But our construction ship is idle. We don't really have a ton of excess power right now. Let's get the mining station though. And then back on Earth surface. We just need to replace these populations that died. Okay, engineering teams have successfully analyzed the wreckage of the alien probe. Certain quantum markers on the whole indicate an exposure to a class of substance anomalies frequent in the Delphic expanse, a turbulent region of Corwar. Cor Ward. The vessel's damaged computer core indicates almost nothing short of the name of the alien race, Zindi. Determined to prevent further incursions into United Earth's space, the Admiralty have proposed a mission into the Delphic ex Expanse to gain additional intelligence. Select its expedition leader. Okay, something went horribly wrong. Vast swaths of the flower spontaneous mutated in unison, while well, in unison, spreading like wildfire and turning their pollen poisonous, and we were too late. Both our evacuation efforts and our attempts to neutralize the pollen fell short of the mark and the inhabitants of Mars paid the price. The plant life of Mars exceeded the only a perfect victory, though this fact is a scant consolation. The whole genus that Maran Cran belonged to burned in the fire of its own unnaturally rapid proliferation. The soil starved of the specific nutrients the pollen and plants would need once the currently living specimen would die, which will be soon, it will be a long time before that floor can again establish a foothold in the ecosystem if it ever will. The inhabitants of Mars are dead. The planet's atmosphere is temporarily noxious with plant emissions. So I lost Mars. Let's take a look at Mars to see exactly Buy a lab one. Increase our naval capacity. Let's get that better armor plating. Where's Mars? Habitability is 0%. Uh, we're going to need to be able to terraform planets. Oh man. <laughs> Guess we're a one species planet, or one planet species again. Which is rather unfortunate. Also, I feel bad that I kind of killed everyone. Science ship. Select expedition leader. Admiral has skill one or higher. Research. Does Earth need to have an admiral? Or what is it? Okay, let's pause for a second. Because I thought I had. I don't have any admirals. Oh, it's on commanding the fleet. Combat speed and FTL damage reduced. We'll go for the younger one. First fleet, you can have this guy. And go ahead and research. And what's this? Mining drone observation. Okay. 
so we don't need our science ship here anymore. Okay, Captain Daniela Ortiz has been selected to lead the mission into the Delphic Expanse to gather intelligence on the Zindi. Starfleet has provided its most advanced starship, the Enterprise, and most capable crew for D Daniela Ortiz to, to command for the duration of the expedition, where contact with Earth is expected to be limited. A contingent of soldiers from the military assault command operations has also been assigned to serve under Daniel Ortiz, so the Makos. I'd always wondered what that stood for. Military Assault Command Operations. Okay, so you survey this system. You, let's just start surveying the systems closer to us as well. And Earth has almost finished our colony ship. Okay. And then you go there. We're receiving a transmission from the Morales. They appear to have successfully translated our languages. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities between us have ceased for the moment. 32 influence. Okay, so they're a xenophobic isolationist. And they allow alien slavery. But they're... They don't like war a whole ton. Okay, so I think that's an appropriate response. So our empires are equivalent. Let's offer a trade deal, a research agreement for 30 years. Oh, they kicked us out of their space, jerks. I want this because it will help us research thing is just a little bit faster and I don't think they'll accept it unless we give them a research agreement as well yeah so instant transfer it was like 26 36 33 okay confirm and they'll usually accept that okay they close their borders to us too which is fine Okay, and they accept it. Okay, cool. Okay, after weeks of fruitless searching in the expanse, Captain Daniela Ortiz has found her first clue. The owner of a trillium mining station claims to employ a Zindi laborer and would be willing to arrange a meeting for a price. One of the Zindi workers' fingers is provided as evidence, an unfortunate mining accident apparently, which provokes more questions. The organic residue from the probe that attacked Earth shares a number of genetic markers in common with those from the finger. However, they appear to be from a separate, though related species. That the Zindi might be a single species confuses the investigation. Captain Daniel Ortiz con convenes with the Enterprise's senior staff to decide on how to proceed. So we can abduct the Zindi worker, we can meet with, and we can purchase their contract. Let's just try to meet with them. Captain Daniel Ortiz leads a team to the mining facility to question the Zindi worker, a male named Keswick, after having transferred a small sum to the mining facility's administrator. Keswick knows nothing of the probe that attacked Earth. However, he is willing to offer the location of the Zindi homeworld on the condition that the captain helps free him from his contract, which comes close to slavery. He warns that the facility administrator will likely attempt to enslave Daniel Ortiz and the Antipark crew in the facility too. Agreeing to help Keswick escape, Daniel Ortiz's team falls through the bowels of the facility until at last they reach a section where the Enterprise's transporters are able to penetrate. However, the facility security team ambushes them, mortally wounding Keswick before the transporters complete their cycle. Back on the ship, the dying Zindi reveals the location of the Zindi homeworld and that six separate species of Zindi evolved there, including primates like himself. Okay, so we can only go to the Zindi homeworld. Non-aggression pact, yes please. I want the non-aggression pact, honestly. Okay. Well, let me explain. I want the non-aggression pact because I don't want to be at war with everyone. And this just helps make that less likely. So we've arrived at the coordinates of the Zendi home system, however no habitable worlds can be detected, 
instead, an enormous asteroid field fits, fills the star's habitable zone. Using predictive modeling, the science officer is able to confirm that the asteroid field came from a single world between 150 and 200 years ago. Material analysis of the field indicates the presence of an advanced compounds that indicates the presence of a warfaring culture. If this is the Zindi homeworld, it has been broken for a long time. Captain Daniela Ortiz orders a return to the original expanse search pattern. Okay. Okay, so our science ship is running away. We just need to continue on, honestly. Okay. And we're losing energy credits, of course. Okay. Earth, what can you do? We're plus three food. I believe that helps us get more population. So we're now only plus two. But we're positive on energy again, which is good. Okay, the Enterprise has defected a Vulcan distress signal be being transmitted. I haven't even discovered the Vulcans yet. From a nearby asteroid field. On inspection, the vessel the Celia is heavily damaged and not responding to hails. Boarding the vessel, Captain Daniel Ortiz leads a team to make contact with the crew and attempt to effect repairs. Deep in the Vulcan ship, several Vulcan crew members in a frenzied state amb ambush Daniela Ortiz's team, forcing them to take refuge in the control room. Analyzing the bio readings from a Vulcan officer, stunned unconscious, reveals the psycho psychologic effects have been caused by exposure to Trillium D, which pervades the asteroid field. Okay, let's look into a cure, or we could just go into it with guns blazing. Ah, so much. 50% chance of yes, of the same thing. We'll investigate a possible cure. Captain Dornality has orders the Enterprise medical staff to exhaust all options to provide a cure to this psychotic Vulcans on this uh, well the away team reinforces their position in the control room. And nearly a day passes before a series of potential cures are provided, however all require testing. Selecting the most likely antidote, a medical team dis distributes the concoction of Trillium D neutralizing agents th through the life support umbilical connections in the Celia's onboard docking port. Within minutes, the entire crew of the Celia is unconscious, allowing the OA team to exit the control room. Several hours passed, and the crew began to awake again, showing no signs of their previous behavior. The surviving and senior staff of the Celia expressed their appreciation for the Enterprise's efforts and promised to petition the Vulcan government to assist in the United Earth search for a solution to the Zindi crisis as soon as the Celia affects repairs. Okay, that's good. So Vulcan support would be awesome. Oh good. Okay, colony ship. Colonize this planet. And does it really matter where I put this down? Yeah, I'm going to go with here. And we'll just keep the default name because we have no other name for this place. But hey, we're a multi planet species again. Okay. Months of investigation have led Captain Daniel Ortiz to a Zindi mining call to where chemosite, a key element in the, used in the Zindi probe's attack on Earth, is being produced in huge quantities. The mines appear to be surrounded by a number of small settlements with layouts suggesting a civilian use. With enough time and materials, we could fashion a series of explosive charges that would destroy the chemosite mines while avoiding damaging the civilian structures. Any delay could allow the Zindi to collect more chemosite for their next weapon. Take, go to the colony, 
destroy the storage, only destroy the entire facility. Well, it's taken away teams to the colony. Infiltrating the mining colony, Captain Den Ortiz's team have identified the head of operations and have captured him in his home. Questioning the Zindi Avaret, a male named Greilich, reveals how he has been assured the chemosite produced at the colony was for research purposes only. Horrified at the prospect that his work killing millions, Greilich agrees to help sabotage the next shipment of chemosite and provides a tracking device to enable the Enterprise to follow the shipments to wherever these weapons are being produced. Okay, so it seems like we made the right choice there. Let's get our construction ship over here as well, because that's a good energy reserve and we're going to need more. Yay! We're losing energy credits again. Which we should upgrade our construction ship as well. What would that take? Better warp drive. I think that's pretty much all we have. Save. Yes. Construction ship. That would cost five to upgrade. Let's just do that and then we'll get over there. Which of course it was nearly in position to warp out. Okay, having followed the chemosite shipments to a nearby system, the Enterprise has ex encountered an Andorian vessel, the Kamari under command of Sharon of the Imperial Guard. Sharon offers the Kamari service to assist the Enterprise, insisting on sending an engineering team to upgrade and repair various systems. Deriding the Vulcan High Command for its lack of support, the United Earth efforts against the Zeni. Captain Danella Ortiz can't help but feel there's more to the Andorian presence in the expanse. While the two vessels sit at the edge of the system, their sensors detect a mass energy discharge in the inner asteroid belt as the dwarf planet is vaporized, further confirming the threat of another Zindi weapon. We kind of need all the help we can get. Oh, and it gives us resources. Perfect. Accepting the Andorian age helps... The Andorian's help pleases Sharan, whose crew spends the next few days upgrading various system systems aboard the Enterprise. Daniel Ortiz and Sharan devise a plan to capture the prototype weapon by using the Enterprise as bait to lure the Zeni D patrol vessels away before allowing the Kamara to beam the weapon on board and disarm it. The mission is successful, and the two vessels rendezvous in the system's Oort cloud to jointly investigate the works of the weapon. Several undetected safety protocols are tripped, however, and both vessels narrowly avoid destruction as the weapon triggers an overload of its chemosite laced energy emitters. The Kamara is heavily damaged, and Commander Shred is forced to accept the assignment of a small contingent of Enterprise engineers to help the vessel limp back to Andorian space. Initial scans of the weapon reveal a number of potential weaknesses, however, no clues as to the location of any further prototypes. Okay. Basically, yeah, we're just going through the entire Enterprise storyline. Okay, do your upgrades and then move out here as fast as you can. Which they're not going to be able to get to in a single jump anyways. Still be two, but it will be faster jumps. So we'll take what we can get. And actually, we are just going to build these mining stations, so go ahead and do that. Atmospheric region readings do not match simulated projections. Okay. That's quite calm, it seems. And do I have any new technology? Okay. Long week spent hunting the expanse have paid off as the Enterprise has successfully captured a shuttle belonging to the Zindi primate scientists leading their weapon projects against Earth, a male named Degra. Captain Daniela Ortiz must now decide how to take advantage of her new captive. The tactical officer suggests an elaborate ruse using memory inhibiting drugs and a mock shuttle pod to extract the location of the final Zindi weapon from Degra, but the resources required are substantial. 
and an initial interrogation reveals little beyond the knowledge that these Indy apparently believe that destroying Earth is their only hope of survival. Okay, so we can abandon him. We can do the deception, which will cost 100 energy credits, and free him. We're going to do the deception. Okay, so Captain Daniel Ortiz orders the construction of a mock shuttle vest interior as per tech the tactical officer's proposal using memory inhibiting drugs. Captain Daniel Ortiz is able to persuade Dagger that the two of them have been prisoners of the Zindi Reptilians for several years following the destruction of Earth and the Reptilians' subsequent betrayal of other Zindi species. Dagger reveals that the Zindi were convinced to attack Earth by transdimensional beings who presented themselves as the Zindi's saviors. After a series of faked attacks on the shuttle, the shuttle caused the simulation to overtax itself. As the window is revealed to be displays, Dagger reacts angrily to the deception. The simulation is terminated. Unable to waste more time, Captain Daniel Ortiz orders Dagger and the crew of the shuttle abandoned on the nearest uninhabited world capable of supporting our life. A large supply of provisions are offered with the hope that Dagger's absence will subsequently slow progress on the weapon. The location of the weapon remains unknown. Okay, I think that's actually where I'm going to call this. Basically, all we've done so far is go through the story of Enterprise, the TV show, which, honestly, I have mixed feelings about. Let me know what you think about this. I might just start skipping through these, although we'll be faced to f in, or I guess we'll be kind of forced into it, but I can skip through reading these if you don't want to hear it. I, I honestly don't know what they do on a lot of these in the TV show because it's been a very long time. But anyways, I'm Antalus. I'll catch you later.